Yeah, the report, you know what I'm saying? I was able to speak to um, Bimmy Etney, um, LL Cool J manager, as well as I got this clip from LL Cool J when he's asked about P. Diddy and, you know, his recent arrest. So, you know, Bimmy goes into more of a detail, you know, how he was banned from the parties, you know, et cetera. But um, y'all in the comments, y'all let me know what y'all think. Stuff for the Cloud Chaser TV. Biggest music executives currently was just arrested. I'm curious if you have any opinion on his arrest or the alleged action. No, I feel for his children. The rest I can't speak on. I mean, you know, that's what we got court system for, but I feel for his kids. Sharing like And I know what you came for and we spoke on that, but hey bro, what's up with Diddy, bro? Because I know you had a relationship with Diddy too, right? Hell no. <laughs> Niggas try to jam you up, bitch. Yo, yo, you see this shit, right? Yo, Chuck. <laughs> How you gonna do me like that, man? Jimmy, I thought you was cool. Like, I, 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 when the bottle of oil was mine? No, no, nigga, I thought you was cool. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Like, I was, I was oiled up? No. <laughs> yo, yo, bro, let me say something to you. If Kevin Lyles was my boss, right? Him and Leo Cohen, right? Julie Greenwald was there, Todd Mosquiz, all of them was there, right? Tina Davis, all of them was there. When I got out that building, you didn't see me back in another building ever. Cause niggas banned me. Niggas didn't want me around, bro. I'm not around none of that sucker shit, none of that shit. Not saying that was going on back then, whatever, whatever. But they, you start to see the names that's a part of all that shit. Every name yeah. is a part of it. I sit back and I watch, I feel like, yep, he was with him. He was with him. He was in the Diddy parties. You, any face you see like smiling and all that in them Diddy parties and pictures, if you look them up, all them niggas are part of that shit, yo. That's crazy. All them niggas are part. Hey, Bimmy, why you don't think All they, they, like, he put up $50 million. Why you don't think they trying to get him a bun? Like, why they want to keep him to the trial? Because they want him. They don't fuck with the witnesses no more. They want him. They want him. It, it's, it's, it's in for him. It ain't, it ain't what, it, what he should do right now, homie. Real Just come talk. out the closet. That's it. <laughs> get a plea, man. No, give me a plea right now. Because when they start spending that money on you, Oh my God! They they want the elbow. They want the elbow. So his best bet in the arraignment, he said, "Yo, give me my plea. Let me plead out. Let me get the fuck out. Keep my money. Keep my house. Keep my plane. All that. Let me plead out. Let my sons run this shit while I'm gone. That's it. Because it's, 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 it's fix is up, bro. They come to get. They get. They got them. You know what I'm saying? And they can tamper with the witnesses if he's home. So they don't want that." They want him to stay in there, but they can monitor him. Hey, Bimmy, you got all these lawsuits. Is it possible That's probably where... the only charge they're going to really get him on, Bim. That's that tampering with the witnesses shit. Every other charge they ain't going to get him with. Yeah, yeah. But you see, they, they say a bunch of motherfuckers come out of war works on them. You know, me personally, I never, you know, believe in tearing a nigga down. <laughs> but these niggas is not your friend, bro. I keep telling you. These niggas is not your friend, man. And I said that in, in Hip Hop Uncovered, when I said something about them, I said, well, my code is different than they code. They've been to college, two-parent household. They ain't grew up like I grew up. So they're supposed to stab me in my back. You know what I'm saying? They were supposed to stab me in my back. You know what I'm saying? So I was, I was, you know, wasn't ready for it, but it happened. You know, I, how it happened was LL Cool J told me, yo, they ain't paying you enough. They ain't doing this. They ain't doing that. And I said, you know what? Fuck them. I ain't going back to work. And I stopped going to Def Jam. And then um, Kevin Lyles called me and said, yo, you ain't been in the meetings, man. You ain't what's up? And I said, yo, man, um, blah, blah, blah. I told Kevin what I said. He said, so work from home. So I started working from home. And then I knew where that goes. That means you really fired until you work from home. Because there was no pandemic back then. So I, so I just said, fuck it. Fuck them. Be on my own, but end of the day, oh, yeah, baby. you see what's going on. Hey, how did how did you like, see what's going on? How, how did like you like I I just actually found out in the past six months that you was managing uh that you manage on uh, LL Cool J like I know he from Queens too like but how long you been doing it and uh, where that relationship start from, bro? Well, me his relationship.